Today I want to show you how to set up the community data graphs for WordPress. It's pretty simple. When you install the plugin, it's going to add a new, uh, what's called a custom post type here on the side called communities. There's some settings here that can be adjusted, but what I want to just show you real quick is a demo. So we made this one. This is Calico Ridge demo. And I'll just open that in a new tab. And basically what it does here is it's showing uh, the units and the information that's coming from this, this data graph. So uh, I'm going to send over this. There's this setup guide that's, that's easy to use, but you just uh, add the communities. And what we'll do is go down in here. If you scroll down, you can see that there's a list of all the saved searches that are on that IDX broker account. So in this case, uh, we're using Calico Ridge. So let me select that. So now all I have to do is put in this short code, IDX add-on data graph. It comes from right here uh, at the top if we're using it on this community post type. If not, if you're on a different page or somewhere else, then you'll actually need to copy paste something like this and put in the data graph ID and kind of keep track of which is which. The first one should be zero, then number one, and, and so on. You can set a title and you can set the colors here. Um, so that's all there really is to it. You can paste that anywhere if you have a if you're going to use a widget for example then you'll have so let's say for example I'm going to put this in the footer in footer 1 then I can put in the title I can pick a color scheme and I can actually select which data graph I'm going to use and then save that. Well, we're not going to use that in this case. So I'm just going to delete that from here. Um, that's all there is to it. You save this and go. So then you can just copy it to any, any page that you want like this with communities. There are some settings over here if you want to uh, change the settings. You can go over here to set some color schemes in it. You can change the slug for the custom post type. If you're already using something that's communities, you may want to make this neighborhoods or data graphs or something like this. This gives you a new field to display and the number of days on market. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy to set up.